All right, let's talk weather right now. Meteorologist Peyton Domsky joins us. Peyton, how's the rest of the evening looking for those heading out on this summer night? Well, much better than yesterday, can I tell you that? I mean, you can just feel it when you head outside. Obviously, see it, too, because we've got sunshine. We are warmer than this time yesterday by about 5 to 10 degrees, and that's area-wide thanks to the sunshine. But we also have a cooling wind direction still in place, so that's why temperatures are still trending unseasonably cool. We are still in the mid to upper 70s, just lakeside, a little warmer further inland, close to Dover at around 80 degrees. New Philly, you too. Our humidity, though, has been been not too troubling or concerning. I mean, it's decent. It could be worse. It has been better too, but we've definitely experienced a relief in that presence of that cold front zooming through yesterday. And again, that wind direction is still pretty pesty at about five to even 20 miles per hour. Those are sustained winds at the moment, but that's still creating an issue at some of our area beaches. There is a high risk for rip currents at some of the area beaches as we go forward this evening. Red flags should be posted if you do head out to one of those locations. I would advise you not to get in the water. A small craft advisory also remains in place. Things should improve as we go through the day tomorrow. But your next four at four features temperatures close to 80 degrees for at least the next couple of hours. We do have a short wave of energy moving on through that could produce a few isolated showers. I'll have the timing and track on that coming up in my full forecast, guys. All righty. Sounds good, Peyton. Thank you. Thank you.